Welcome to 50 Plus Tech. Today we're going to talk about two myths that I know are still kind of floating around in regards to performance and network connectivity on the iPhone. first myth is closing your apps in order to improve performance. It used to be this way where turning off your apps would, and this is on the iPhone specifically, I will do a separate video on Android and improving in performance on that. But on the Apple iPhone, many of us were told over time that the reason that our phones were not performing well was because we had uh, a bunch of apps open. Oh, grandma, turn off your, you know, you must have a bunch of apps on uh, open and that's why your phone's not working properly. Nowadays, Apple actually turns down battery usage when the app is not active, even if it's open. And you can actually harm your phone by turning them off just for performance because it leaves some hanging things, hanging tasks out there and can actually crash the apps. So use them as you normally would, but don't shut them down just for performance. So that's one of them. Uh, the other one is, um, oh, so here's a couple of just had to remind myself by looking at the notes. But here's a couple ways that you can help your performance right away. Turn on auto brightness because auto brightness just means that your phone will adjust to wherever you are instead of being on bright all the time, which does use the battery. So go in and I will do a little side thing over here that shows you how to turn on auto brightness. And then the other thing to do, turn off Wi-Fi when you're not home. Because when you're wandering around and you have your phone and you have Wi-Fi on, the Wi-Fi in your phone is trying to find the network and so it's constantly using your phone, trying to get connected. So when you leave the house, go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi. Make sure your auto brightness is on uh, all the time and that will help. Don't turn off your app, or don't close your apps unless you need to. Don't close them for performance. It's kind of like on a PC when um, you're having issues with, with one of your apps on your PC and then uh, you go into task manager and it'll say, this isn't working. And then you say, okay, just stop it. Myth number two, my iPhone drops calls, so I need to go get a new phone. Dropped calls are not necessarily a symptom of a faulty phone. Typically, you're getting dropped calls because when you connect to a tower, it may not be the closest tower to you. If the tower near you is full, then the tower will toss you to another tower, but it's not smart enough to toss you to the closest tower. It might toss you to a tower that's miles away, which is why sometimes when you're standing next to your husband or your child or a friend and your network or your connection is bad and their connection is good, they may have been lucky enough to have connected to the closest tower. So one of the, one of the ways that you can maybe make an adjustment there is go on in and turn on airplane mode and then turn off airplane mode and see whether or not you're able to get to a closest tower. More likely, the reason your calls are being dropped or you're having network connectivity issues is because you got connected to a tower out in Jibit. Um, although, you know, try that first and see if that works. And then, of course, if you think the phone, if the phone is not working, then go ahead and go get it checked. But more likely, it's because you're not getting connected to the correct network. So thank you very much 
for watching. Please make sure to hit the like or dislike or subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any other myths that you have found over the years that you've been told you were supposed to do one thing and it turned out to be something else. I'm going to go spend some time with my dog and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you bye-bye, Fizz. See you bye-bye.